Hello, hello everyone. Apparently the uh, new Architects album came out a couple months ago. Uh, I didn't even notice, I guess. We've heard uh, Deep Fake and Tear Gas. I think those are the two big singles that they dropped. Everything else I think is kind of up in the air. So we're just hitting the next track in line. Spit the bone. We got a lot of catching up to do, but I'm very excited. We got some tier three patrons as well. We have Hunter James, Ian, Marissa, Austin, Charles, Zachary, Levi. Thank you guys so very much. I'm ready. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Interesting so far. Sam doing a lot of cool things. Lead guitars in the back. Riff is very bassy, which is kind of cool. Very different. It's got a nice grip to it. Love the use of the synths, actually. Synthesizers sound amazing. It's got this really catchy bounce. I don't know how to describe it. It's very easy to move with. Yeah, I mean, the, the sounds are crazy. I love that. Low key building. Oh, <laughs> the vocals. Oh, what is that a black? Oh, I didn't see that coming. The drum work is amazing. The bassiness in that riff is awesome. <laughs> okay, Architects. Okay, okay, man. Dude, that was a jammer. All right, you guys. Architects here with Spit the Bone off of their new album, which I guess is called The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit. Really, really enjoyed that song. I wouldn't say it was my favorite by any means. Definitely a lot of good moments in here. I do wish that lead guitar was a little bit more up front. I felt like it was just kind of lost in there, but I gotta say the bassiness in that sort of riff, and there were probably a lot of synths going on with that as well. I really, really did like that. Drums were killing it, a lot of groove. I mean, just such an easy song to move to. I think a lot of their songs are kind of like that. They just have these really nice sort of patterns, cadences, and they're just really punchy notably uh, coming from that drummer. And it's just really fun, really easy to move to. So I love that. Sam doing a lot of crazy things with this voice. Amazing voice as always, getting some weird 
like really low talking type stuff and then like some really high sings. I think we got a bled in there on a breakdown, which was pretty freaking awesome. A lot of cool sounds overall. I mean, it was still definitely a jammer. Definitely a jammer. I'm very excited. I want to listen to more of this album because I didn't even realize this thing freaking came out. And it's been like two months, I think, or something like that. So I got a lot of catching up to do. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you're still here, if you're still watching, thank you so much. And I will see you on the next one.